This is incredible. This is something that probably wouldn't have been possible. I mean, this entire video wouldn't have been possible without this guy's skills and his technology. How's it going, guys? Kai Vertigo, full-time FPV pilot here. Today, we're breaking down a game-changing, mind-blowing FPV short made by Jaybird Films called Right Up Our Alley. Before we start, I just want to talk a little bit about where I'm coming from. Um, so I've been doing FPV for about one full year now, and I've been making videos for over nine years. So this is a very special video because not only does it showcase incredible FPV skill, but it also has an amazing amount of choreography, direction, and blocking. And so we're going to watch it through once. I'm going to react to it with fresh eyes because I haven't watched this for over 24 hours. And then we're going to go back and we're going to break it down and I'm going to help you guys see what made this video so incredible, how they did it. So here we go. Right. Wow. Yeah, we just got here. Coming in now. Nice. It's not easy. It's a very thin gap. That's so why you hit the floor a little bit there, but you kept going. It's not easy. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go. Oh, and you're up. My foot wasn't over the line. Mark it eight, dude. This is bowling. There are rules. I'm not counting. I love it. Oh, yeah. Dude, how are you so good? Gosh, <laughs> that was that was absolutely incredible. Okay, so let's break it down. Okay, well, first of all, without a doubt, amazing, great job. For those of you who are even wondering how a shot like coming from the sky into a building and being able to fly safely around humans and in such small spaces even possible, let me introduce you to somebody that can do the exact same thing. And likely the type of drone that our guy used. So let me get him in here real quick. Ouch. So this is an FPV Cinewoop drone. And honestly, if I had to guess, this is probably along the lines of what our guy Jay Bird used. Uh, it is a well, first person view, safe, protected, whoop drone. And that allows us to be able to go into small spaces, fly safely around humans, and come up from any altitude in any part of the sky. So yeah, this guy is a beauty. And today we're gonna break down exactly what James Bird might have done to set up this. Because there's a lot, undoubtedly, there is so much skill involved in what this guy just did. But on top of all that, on top of all that, there's incredible amount of blocking that even the best FPV pilots to this date have yet to do. So let's go ahead and go do that right now. I'll leave the goggles on. I like to leave the goggles on just because it feels kind of goggly, you know? So it's always easy. So already we can see that he's coming in from the sky. That's incredible. So what they did was they made sure to coordinate with the actors in the front to make sure they open the door. The drone, as you can hear, is pretty loud so they can tell when it's approaching, even if they can't see it. Um, everything, there's a really funny comment on the YouTube video that says the actual audio for this video was just like you could hear earlier. Like, Aah! so um, all of this sound you're hearing is done in post with a quieted um, timeline and they just layered all of this different sound over to make it feel so immersive. So that's just, Another huge amount of brownie points I have to give to these guys. So let's keep watching. So he was he threw it at the door. There's so much ambient noise that they added in the background to make it feel more real. Like you're not you're not even really thinking about this when you're first watching it, but it's a lot of work. 
This guy made sure to time his throw with the drone approaching, so he could probably use his ears, or they cued it somehow using radio. That was a great track, and then he managed to continue track going through, getting a lot of action in just this one sweep. <laughs> and there's a lot of dialogue and like audio in the background of people talking, which just makes it feel so much more immersive. And like a real, like you're actually in a bowling alley and you're getting to see everything seamlessly in one shot. This is incredible. This is something that probably wouldn't have been possible. I mean, this entire video wouldn't have been possible without this guy's skills and his technology. But seeing from the bowling alley, from, from the actual lanes and then the ball is being able to go down and see everybody in the entire area going to hear the audience um, that's playing and then going up into the background where the actual machinations of the bowling alley is working. This is a perspective I've never seen before. Wow. And then he flew through the background. Notice how it was still very visible. So I, it looks like they use natural lighting for the most part, which is amazing because everything is exposed really well. So that's another 100 points I gotta give, especially when you're going from outdoors, which is complete black, except for that neon sign into this building, everything is lit pretty dang well. So it looks like he bounced off the floor a little bit, that's fine. He flew through this guy's legs in one take. <laughs> and then you can see right here, um, if you look at here at, on the left of the screen, they've got some lights set up. And I believe that's just to, to give the alley a little bit more even lighting, um, which allows for this entire shot to look way better. So lighting is a huge key, especially if you're trying to make films, right? So. This is another thing that FPV pilots like myself and others have to keep in mind is it does it, it pays to have good lighting. Um, of course, because it's one take, you can see in certain shots that you can see the silhouette of the drone here. And judging from the silhouette, it does look like a Cinewolf. It's got it's got the same form factor as this guy, where it's got more of like the thicker arms, which means that it's protected. And then there's like a GoPro on top or something, some sort of action camera. It's quite small. So then he flies around. It is a little bit grainy, um, probably because they allowed the, I the ISO, which makes the exposure range higher, um, but also allows for just, you're able to have a lot more diverse level of lighting within the entire scene. So it wouldn't have been possible without this type of auto exposure. That was awesome. <laughs> the fact that they came up with lines to superimpose over the, the the people in in the video and i haven't watched the big lebowski unfortunately but i've heard that these are all references to it so they did an amazing job with the planning right there's a lot of pre-production going into this this wasn't just willy-nilly like you flew in everything here is designed and choreographed so you have to give it to him that clink That's awesome. And you're seeing that before this, he's actually finding a way to cover the entire venue in one sweep. Nothing is really repeated. And then he goes and he times it with his throw and he becomes the bowling ball. And then we even get to see the inside of the machine, like crazy, absolutely insane. So freaking good. So, yeah, I mean, it's, there's not a lot that I don't, I have really no bad things to say about this. Sure, like he bumped the floor a few times. I'm sure they did this take multiple times. I'm curious to hear how many times it took to get this all in one shot, but just how dynamic he's moving. He's actually moving quite fast in a lot of these shots and he's still able to thread the gaps and get close to get close to the subjects. Like this is a pretty good wide shot of everybody. Then he flies up, make sure he avoids them, doesn't hit anybody in the face. There's a great orbit. You can see in certain shots, and it's very it's very negligible because it's, it's quite fast, but you can see that the shadow of the drone is getting cast. Unfortunately, that is something that we have to deal with as drone pilots and have to find a way to avoid, is how can we light the scene so that shadows aren't being cast in the drone? Um, it's, it's a huge thing that we have to keep in mind. And this guy did a good job of mitigating that by adding lights, but at the same time, those same lights are casting shadows. So the best thing we can do in the future when we're doing future projects as FPV filmmakers is find a way to shoot lights to make sure that it avoids any shadowing. So he keeps going. 
clink. Amazing. The sound design is ridiculous. I, I can't wait to see the timeline if he makes it behind the scenes. Jay, I really hope you make a behind the scenes of this. I'm just speculating and trying to figure out exactly what you did. It's a freaking masterpiece, but I would love to see also just like the onset effort that went into this because every single person in this video is choreographed. Everyone knows what's going on. Everyone is given a role. These guys were told to celebrate, maybe given some lines. This girl was told to use the bar at a certain time because nobody's actually looking at the drum. Which means that if you're a regular human who wouldn't know what's going on, you definitely look at a loud ass, ee, like fly ass thing coming your way. But everyone here is kind of, well, this guy is celebrating with the drone. So maybe, I mean, not sure if he was told to do that, but <laughs> he's having a good time. And he was told to do something. And then throws. Yeah. I gotta give it to this guy, man. Oh man, that's, that's a lot for a minute and a half. The amount of pre-planning, making sure that your flight path is understood, that's so comprehensive that it covers everything. It's timed properly with actors that are given roles to play. Um, it's it's timed with actions, choreographed with actions, like throwing the balls, like clinking the glass, like talking, doing the emotions and the emoticons that actually match with the dialogue. Um, the sound design, to, that, that that is so, undervalued, which is just that ambient noise in the bowling alley that's playing throughout the entire clip. It just sucks everybody in. It's, it's a huge lesson. And I've learned so much from watching this video. It's incredible. And <laughs> yeah, flying through these small gaps, like this guy, these guys legs down under these pins or these, these like lane giver thingies. And then yeah, making sure you capture this guy when he's walking back after he just threw his ball. This, this scene of these guys doing this and then these two talking and then adding the Big Lebowski quotes, showing the bar and then showing the theater and then finally ending with a bang, literally. So, Jaybird, FPV video of the year so far, man. I, I don't know what to say. This is the type of stuff that I am dreaming of doing. And I've heard that James Gunn tweeted to you that he wants you on the set for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So I really hope he sticks to that promise because if he does, that is a giant leap for FPV kind. And besides from that, your videos are going viral right now. You're on Unilad, you're on Instagram blowing up, you're on YouTube blowing up. So, I mean, it's been an honor to be a part of this craft that you're pushing forward. The one thing that blows my mind about this video and just the possibilities that FPV and these emerging technologies bring is the amount of fantasy that is being injected into real life. So starting out, uh, I was a huge, I am still a huge anime nerd. I love Boku no Hero, I love Naruto, all of these guys, like they inspired me to become what I'm doing now. The only issue is that with real reality, there is a lot of restrictions unless you have a huge budget for VFX and all of this to do things like this. But now that we have these emerging technologies like flying cameras that can go in tight spaces and fly close to people, and just do these dynamic movements all with one tool, it's making it so much more accessible and so much more possible to do crazy things like this. So that is my mission, is to basically make the fantastic or the animatic real. And so we're gonna keep doing that journey here on my channel, on my pages, on TikTok, on Instagram, check out my YouTube, and we're gonna keep breaking down these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this and enjoyed walking through this video and like learning a little bit more about filmmaking and FPV and storytelling as I did because this was a blast. And if you wanna see more stuff like that, leave a comment down below or let me know what you think about this video. If I was wrong about something, call me out. Let's talk because I'd love to have a little bit more discussion about what's possible. Thank you for everybody who's watched this and thank you for everybody who's inspired me so far. I hope to catch you soon. It's been Kai Vertigo and I'll see you later. Keep flying, peace.